What's good, y'all? I'm Red Sosa, and today, thank y'all for this special time that we are about to share together. Welcome back, Rich Gang family. And today, y'all, the build that I'm bringing y'all is the new best rare mid-range playmaker build in nba 2k21 y'all this build you can make it many different ways you can definitely get sharpshooting takeover slashing playmaking and even shot creating y'all but the way i'm bringing it today is going to be the best version possible but with that being said be sure to hit that sub button if you're new all are welcome to join the rich gang family y'all to all the supporters Let's go ahead and get 30 likes on this banger. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last, but definitely not least, y'all. Turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload every single day. And when I go live, y'all. Now let's get right into the making of this mid-range playmaker build. The position we are going to go ahead and pick is going to be the point guard, y'all. Now, I'm sure that you can make this build out of different positions, but this is going to be the best one to make it out of, y'all. Now, when it comes to the pie chart, the one you want to go ahead and pick is going to be none other. And as you can see, it is going to be the pure playmaking pie chart, y'all. With this one, I am telling y'all, the takeovers you can unlock is crazy because it seems you can just unlock about any takeover when making certain builds out of this single pie chart y'all that's what i love about this pie chart you can make a lot of cool and rare builds out of this but honestly it's a really balanced pie chart all around the board when you really think about it now the thing with this build this is one of those builds where you could choose any physical profile and you will still get the build name you can make it at different heights and weights but the way that i want to make this build is going to be the one that's going to put it over the top that's going to be the fourth physical profile with 91 speed, 90 acceleration, and 80 vertical, y'all. By all means, you could go to the fifth one if you want, bringing up your strength a little bit. But I just personally do not like the stats when it comes to this kind of build. Now, let's get right into the stats breakdown, y'all. What you want to go ahead and do here, you're going to put your close shot to an 82. And when it comes to your driving layup, you're going to put that to an 84, y'all. And for your driving dunk, you're going to put it to where you get exactly five finishing badges, which is going to be at 69, y'all. Now, for your mid-range, you're going to go ahead and max that out. Do the same thing with your three-pointer as well as putting your free throw to an 84. And your post fade, you're going to put at 55 to get 15 shooting badges, y'all. Now, for your playmaking, you want to go ahead and max out your ball handle, of course. But you're going to put your pass accuracy to a 92, y'all. And that's going to give you 28 playmaking badges so what you want to go ahead and do for your defense is max out your perimeter defense lateral quickness as well as your steel and we're going to put all the attributes that we can on our defensive rebound at 66 and we're going to put the rest on our block at seven y'all now as you can see you have one leftover remaining attribute y'all you could go anywhere you want with this but it is not going to change your badge setup unless you take off a couple of attributes to change the build around a little bit but i'm just going to put my block to a 40 as you can see the body shape that i always love going especially with these rare builds is going to be burly the height you want to make this baby at six six y'all you could do six three even six four and six five but six six is going to be the wave when it comes to the weight, you want to go 180, y'all. Anything higher is going to take a hit when it comes to your acceleration. For your wingspan, you can go lowest if you want to raise your three ball. But what I'm going to go with is 80.7. And this way, it is pretty much only minus two off of the normal wingspan, which is not bad because your arms are still not that small, y'all. Now, let's check out the takeovers that we get for this build. As you can see, we get playmaking, shot creating, and slashing, y'all. Now, as I said before, you can definitely make this build to get sharpshooting takeover. If y'all want that, go ahead and drop a like right now. But when it comes to this build, this specific build, I am going to choose shot creating to make this build that much of a better shooter. And look at the build name, y'all. We get a legit mid-range playmaker, y'all. Now, I'm telling y'all. This build is really oversized for a guard. You can definitely run point guard with this build. 
And again, you could even choose the fastest speed to get 99 speed at 6-6, six, six, y'all. The only reason why I didn't choose that is because I want to be able to grab boards over centers as well as guards with that 80 vertical. And now, I'm going to take y'all right into the bad setup and what I would do when it comes to making this build. Now, let's get right into the finishing. First things first, if you chose slashing takeover or even if you did not. You want to throw on your contact finisher as high as you possibly can. And I'm going to throw on Pro Touch as well as Acrobat because you will miss some acrobatic layups even if they're wide open, y'all. And it's going to help you that much better of a finisher. Now, essential badges for the shooting, of course, as y'all always know, is going to be Range Extender and Hot Zone Hunter. I'm also going to throw on Green Machine, put on Corner Specialist on Silver as well as Bronze Volume Shooter. And I'm going to put on Gold Difficult Shots so that way... It goes hand in hand with that shock rating takeover. For your playmaking, the essential badges you want to run for yourself is going to be quick first step as well as handles for days. I'm going to throw on silver bailout as well as unpluckable. To help out my teammates, I'm going to put on floor general and dimer. You can consider flashy passer as well. But to help myself out even more, I'm going to put on stop and go and ankle breaker to catch them ankles, y'all. Now, when it comes to the defense, I'm going to throw on silver clamps. I'm going to put intimidator on bronze or silver. It's all based on preference. You could even go gold. And I'm going to throw on rim protector on bronze as well as chase down artist on bronze as well. And that's going to be the bad setup we go with. We have 5, 15, 28, and 7. This build is a really nice rare build when it comes to the stats, especially the badges. And again, I just want to say thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family. We are growing rapidly. We're going to be hitting 10K soon. I see it. I feel it. And I am bringing y'all along in this journey with me. And I just want y'all to know how thankful I am because without y'all, there would be no Rich Gang family. So thank y'all to the 1,000 plus. We're going to be hitting 10,000 soon. I already see the vision. I feel it. But as you can see, this is where we come to a close. And I just want to say thank y'all so much. And I love every single one of y'all. But with all that being said, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. All are welcome to join the Rich Gang family, y'all. To all the supporters, let's go ahead and get 30 likes on this banger. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last, but definitely not least, y'all. Turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload every single day and when I go live, y'all. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.